Hey there guys, Frank I'm out of here once again, and we are assaulting the Dark Castle. It's a seven level uh, monolith of a stage. And we have one more rainbow drop to grab here, not counting that one that we didn't grab in the first stage. And we have a final boss fight. I'm sure anybody who's played a Kirby game before in their lives has a pretty good guess as to who we're going to be seeing at the end of this. This stage has excellent music. It's my favorite track in the entire game. So don't mind me if I get a little quiet at times listening to it. These stages all follow a very similar formula. You will probably foresee it, or at least spot it as we go through the stages. It. And now we have a fight. And that's one. The rainbow drop is in the final level of this place. And once again, there's a little bit of a puzzle. It has a hint that you can only see if you happen to have Kime and the electrical power, but I know what it is, so... Don't need to worry about that. Oh, hey, Flame actually works underwater a little bit in this game. I didn't realize that. Anyways, forget Flame. Let's get something a little different. Let's get, uh... Let's get a beam attack. Go down here, there's no point to it. Oh yeah. You get an ice thrower ability with Ku. You can tilt around and aim your beam. But that's way less exciting than three one ups. There's nothing down there. You know what? I want that cutter ability. I can get far enough away to make him respawn. Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. I do believe that is the last time we'll be seeing the squid. Which is great, because forget that guy. Nobody likes him. He has no friends, and he is a jerk. And now he is dead forever. Unless we go back to a stage where he was. And he's not. Operation fly over the level while zapping things with lightning commence. That's how Kirby rolls. That's how I roll. Bouncy things. No match for lightning. They are a match for me being too high to hit them, though. And here comes the scrolling segment. Where having the cutter is going to be way more useful than having lightning. Especially a three-way cutter. Double, especially since we can fly. There are a few dead-end paths in this part, which, if you're unlucky, can catch you. 
But as everyone knows, I am not at all unlucky. And most of them are fairly clearly marked. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. We're going to have another one of those, incidentally. And we are just flying through this stage, aren't we? And this world, rather. 27 lives, that should be more than enough to fight the final boss. Of course, we do have to get there first. Still got four stages to go. I see... Cutter again. This stage might seem familiar to anyone who just saw the first part of this, uh, world. Because it's essentially the same as that thing mirrored. Welcome to the gimmick. Huh, he blocked it. What a jerk. I guess that guy's like the proto Meta Knight in this game. This part isn't quite the same, for one, we're going the other way. For two, there's a lot more enemies and a lot less guys jumping out behind you. Having the cutter does make this significantly easier, which is why I picked it up. And what's at the end of this? The ninja. So you can get more cutter. He's actually really easy to beat if he uses that move for you. You can suck them both in in one shot. Hey, this seems familiar? It should. Once again, basically a mirror. And once again, I'm getting my ass kicked by an underwater segment in a Kirby game. My shame knows no bounds. Okay. You yeah, guys got a cutter here for me? No. Guess I'll take the lightning. Lightning is not going to do me any good. The lightning shoots down, and this is a horizontal segment. Alright. Hey, buddy. Thanks for a little bit of help. There is not a three up down there this time. There is only misery. All of those bricks hide spikes. Every single one of them I've checked. Don't let them fool you. They are not friendly. And we got this time, we got Blocky. Hey, Blocky. We're gonna kill you. See? You're dead. Don't mess with Kirby, because he will kill you. And once again, kind of a repeat, but with wind this time. So still having Koo makes it handy to pick up things that we might miss. Also, no enemies, except for a couple of Gordos and a few spots. Boop, boop. And scrolling segment part two. The revenge of the scrolling segment. This one's a little more mazy. But for the most part it's still okay. Because I remember the layout. At least most of the way out. No, my cutter. Oh well. 
No, I was wrong. I don't remember it at all. It was down. Sacrifice to life. Oh well. Well, that's embarrassing. If I were a better person, I would insert a counter here of, uh, every time I do something like this. But I'm not. Just imagine one. Okay, this time it's down. And the last one is down this time. Oh well, the puzzle in the, uh... The puzzle in the final part of this level to get the uh, rainbow drop is a little easier without an animal buddy. This guy is still obnoxious no matter what you do. power, so let's go. Now for the final segment of the final stage. Ah. Nobody thinks you're cute, Falling Bricks. This is the room that has the clue in it, behind these bricks, but you can't see it because we don't have the fish bulb power-up. But, it references this. First, we need the firepower. Next we need... stone. Spike comes ice. And after ice comes everybody's favorite. And that puts you right down there with the last rainbow drop. Unfortunately for us, that was not all of them. But Kirby doesn't know any better, because Kirby is simple. Also, Kirby is about to die. I, mean, I don't want to get killed by this umbrella thing, that's extra embarrassing. that complete, the door is open to the final battle. The one who's behind it all. King DDD, who is asleep. Yeah, he's uh, looking a little out of it, isn't he? Got the classic battle theme there. This is all ready to go. Also worth knowing that DDD is actually legitimately tough, especially with no powers. Which is why I decided to fight him with no powers.
Just to show how I roll. He only takes one heart of damage. Whoa. He gets riled. Every now and then. That didn't go so hot. I might die a few times trying to get this trying to get through this because like I said, this is actually kind of a challenge. At least it's got the awesome battle music. Okay, we're even again. And now he's angry. Do not let him suck you in, it does a lot of damage. I think it might actually... No, it only does one, but... Oh, this is going... All kinds of poorly again. It almost always takes me at least two tries to, uh... Whoa, look out. To get this right. And that's game. That was unlucky. If I hadn't taken those three hits back to back early on, I probably could have pulled that one off. Round two. And now you know why he's in Smash Brothers Brawl. DDD is kind of a badass. Two for two. He has twice as much health as you do, because he's a boss and you're not. Like a boss. Okay, we're in good shape here. Now he's angry, so we're in less good shape. That was too close. Crap. Man, what the heck happened? That was going so well. well. At this point, I might as well just die. Since that's most likely what was going to happen anyway. Yeah. Maybe I can pull it off. Nope. I keep forgetting that that explosion doesn't fly out so much as it does up. Once again, this is probably going to end up being a little bit on the long side, my apologies. Because we have the credits to watch after this, too. I like to try and get both when he does that jump, but sometimes he does it in a manner that uh, makes it impossible to do so. Fire hammer. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Going more smoothly this time. Four more hits and he's down for the count. Yeah. One more hit. Nice. Oh good, he went back to his not super angry mode too. Thanks for that, DDD. And with that, Dreamland is saved. Hooray! <laughs> saved forever.
Look, see? There's a credit sequence, showing us the names of all the enemies in the game. What else could you ask for? Kabu. That's what his name is. Oh, hey, maybe we'll see what that umbrella's name is. Scarfy, hi. What's the name of that jerk thing? Did I miss it? I don't think I missed it yet. Wow, Floaty the Drifter, huh? Bouncy tie. Propeller bomb, screw you. Load kibble? Wow, I'd forgotten the, uh... Sort of odd translation there. So I'm pretty sure they call him Lord Kibble and everything else. 3D, that's pretty sane. Jumper shoot? Well, whatever. Master Green? Blocky! Why you. <laughs> Wispy Woods is not a face, he's a tree. These names are getting a little disconcerting here. co cracko huh? King Day Day Day. And... Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I'm sure it won't be any sort of an issue or anything. But... That's an issue for another day. I'll see you guys next time with the uh, finale of Kirby's Dream Land 2. Later.